Hi and welcome back to the channel. The video of today is about the uh, chieftain. We will examine uh, the outfitting for the chieftain that is called the Meta Chief. Uh, all engineer G5 but it's also good if you can engineer it up to G3 as a minimum. We will see how it orbit and take special attention as well as the convergency. Uh, in the outfitting section is explained how to set up the R points and you will see uh, on the attack phase why they are set up in that way. Also please uh, uh, down below you will see the link on the discord if you want to join we have created the new discord with the three friends uh, where there are a lot of sections we are starting initially um, focused on the ix that is combat rescue and uh, all the type of mission related to this war feel free to join and also please leave the comment down below if you have any question and now let's go straight to the video let's start with the outfitting so from the r point uh, we have uh, the first two are the Guardian Gauss Cannon 2B and uh, take a look at this specific composition because then it will go into the convergency mode. So if you change these order of the R points then it's going to change your convergency so your accuracy it will decrease. This setup is going to give you the best convergency the Chieftain can give you. So the first two two Guardian uh, Gauss B, and then we have two beam laser with the long range uh, thermal vent experimental effect. This build is flakless. It's also uh, very useful on the um, conflict zone. And then we have uh, 1D Guardian Gauss and 1D Guardian Gauss. Let's move on to utility. I strongly recommend if you don't have it done if you don't have done it yet to unlock the pre-engineer it sync from uh, Sirius. And here we're gonna put them four of them. On the core internal, we will start with the military grade composite. Also, here is a G5 heavy duty uh, as modification with deep plating. This heavy duty deep plating we will apply as well on the whole reinforcement module. Then power plant is armor power plant with uh, thermal spread. Thrusters, the usual dirty drive tuning with truck drives. In this case, I put the frame shift drive 5D because I didn't have to travel long distance. Uh, otherwise, if you have to jump between system because you don't have the carrier, uh, 5A with um, Longer range of mass manager is uh, advised. Light support 5D. Power distributor is the 6A with the charge enhanced. And sensors is 4D with the long range scanner. Optional internal, we have a 5D repair limpet controller. <laughs> Sorry. 5D guardian module reinforcement package. 4E cargo rack. Uh, with the uh, availability of 16 limpet, 4D wool reinforcement package, and you have heavy duty and deep plating here as well. And all the rest 4D heavy duty deep plating, 4D heavy duty deep plating, and then uh, 2A auto fill maintenance unit. Here you can also fit the 2B that it has more ammunition available for your repair. Then 2D Guardian Module Reinforcement, 1D Guardian Module Reinforcement. If you saw, it's important to have 3 on the hull and 3 on the Guardian Module. Not more than 3 on the Guardian Module because otherwise uh, the stacking is not working anymore. You are not gaining any more uh, bonuses. So this is the part of the outfitting. And um, now we're going to see the actual uh, flight. The chief time it's very well known to be able to orbit in uh, a very positive way around basically everything the maneuverability due to the g5 uh, truck drive and thruster we will demonstrate how the ship maneuvers and uh, fight against a uh, medusa
now we will start the orbit and you will see that trying to keep in the correct speed compared to the crate you don't need to boost orbit it will just follow it the orbit by itself like this very very easily and at a nice distance okay, I'm not boosting I'm just thrusting down and to the left following the trail now of course then we need to adjust it as well according to the good movement but if I decide for example to leave the lateral thrusters and just leave the vertical will concentrate all the thrusts in the downward side and it's even easier. Here we can see how it can easily maneuver to stay on target while uh, dodging the shots from the closer. At around 4.5k we can start to enter into the orbit and trying to maintain it, always keeping an eye at the swarm. the roll and the orbit can stay here indefinitely You can see it follow perfectly the guide maneuver and she will always try to keep her in the right direction. Even if we do an attack run while boosting, she is able to reduce the speed and remain within distance very easily, as it happened in this case. Hi and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, I will leave in the description down below the following link, the Discord channel and the link of David Jones or Misfits uh, YouTube channel, it's a very uh, skilled uh, AX uh, pilot and um, also the Coriolis link for the outfitting of uh, the Meta Chief. Thank you very much for watching, please leave any comments down below for suggestion, uh, feedback and also if you like the video please let me know and I wish you a good day.